I couldn't believe that I painted this myself. It was a masterpiece, and someone huge wanted to buy it. On my way to our meeting, I passed by a movie set and got distracted by the cutest sight imaginable, a cage with 10 cute dogs. As I rushed to pet them, I tripped over something and knocked the cage over. To my surprise, the dogs burst out of the cage and began to chase me like rabid little monsters, ready to eat me alive. I ran as fast as I could and immediately dove into the first thing that I saw an open trailer van door. I slammed the door behind me, but as I turned around, I saw something that made my jaw drop. The most hypnotizing green eyes I had ever seen. But my ogling was rudely interrupted when the boy started screaming like a little girl. Who are you and what are you doing here? How did you find this van? Uh, hello. This van is parked in the middle of the street. Don't lie, you're a stalker, aren't you? Hey, listen, you moron. I don't even know you. Why would I stalk you? Like, ew. You don't know me? I'm Owen, the movie star. Owen who? I've never heard of your name before and have never seen any of your stupid movies. I showed him my precious painting to prove that I was telling the truth, but he just laughed sarcastically and said, That's a painting. It looks stupid. Well, someone is willing to pay $50,000 for this stupid painting, so you're stupid because you can't understand art. Just get out of my van, stalker. Just then, the van started moving. No, no, no. Owen demanded the driver to stop to throw me out, but the bathroom door suddenly opened and a scary-looking lady stepped out. Owen, I just received a call. Someone let the dogs out on our previous set and the lady trailed off upon seeing me. Who is she? Some crazy stalker? Should I call the cops? She could have put your life in danger. We should detain her. Ugh, not again. Hi, my name is Erica, and this is my story of how I became a famous creepy stalker in no time. Please like and subscribe because my story animated will give $1,000 to one lucky person in the next seven days. Tell your friends, your sister, your brother, and your mom to subscribe now. During the ride, I secretly took Owen's pictures so I could sell them to his crazy fangirls after I escaped from here. Suddenly, my phone rang. It was a buyer, and he sounded mad. I begged Owen and his manager to let me out because I needed to sell my painting, but they were acting like I was invisible. Moments later, the manager's own phone rang. What? We're already here. Oh, a girl with red hair and black hoodie let the dogs out? Don't worry, I'll handle this. The manager turned to me looking very furious. You have caused huge trouble in the city. You'll have to pay for this. Could this day get any worse? We finally arrived at their next filming location, and to my horror, it was in the middle of a desert. The manager immediately told their bodyguards to lock me up in a cold, small tent with additional security outside. Worse, I heard that they were staying here for a week. I tried calling the buyer, but there was no signal. I had to escape or else I was going to lose him. I decided to sneak out through the window. I lifted the flap of the tent window and stepped on a chair. Just as half of my body was already outside, I lost my balance and fell back, knocking a huge bag over and spilling its contents. I picked up what seemed to be a guy's boxer shorts and right at that very moment, Owen came in and saw me. What are you doing with my stuff? I just realized that it looked like I was sniffing his underwear. It's not what you think. I fell over and I knew it. You're obsessed with me. I don't believe you. Give me your phone to see if you took pictures of me, you stalker. There was no way I would give it to him. The manager came in and reported that a razor and shaving cream that were owned by another actor were missing. You probably stole it. Let me see your bag. Like, duh, why would I steal it? Do I look like a boy with a beard to her? I confidently handed her my bag. Go ahead. She checked my bag and immediately found the items. Oh my God, how did it end up there? Owen looked so disappointed. She really isn't your stalker, Owen. She's a thief. We don't know what else she's planning to steal. The manager took my painting as a hostage and told me that she'd only give it back if I helped with the filming crew. I immediately accepted the deal and started working with them. I focused on the backdrops and everyone was amazed at my paintings, including Owen. You're really talented. It was the first time that he smiled at me and it was so unexpected. One day, Owen's makeup artist got sick and I found myself volunteering. He kept on staring at me as I worked on his handsome face and it was making my heartbeat race really fast. Calm down, Erica. You hate him, remember? I'm sorry if I was a jerk to you. I've just had traumatic experiences with obsessed fangirls before. No biggie. I was just mad that you didn't know me. I mean, I would love to have a beautiful stalker, you know? I didn't know what to say, so I acted like there was something intriguing in a rock nearby to avoid him. Leave that stupid rock alone. To my surprise, he grabbed my arm and kissed me. His manager came in just then and saw us. 
You witch, how dare you flirt with him? You're going to pay for this. To my horror, she grabbed my painting and ripped it in half. No, I worked on that for literally 200 hours. The manager ordered the security to lock me up again. Owen tried to stop her, but they ended up fighting. That night, he snuck into the tent and gave me a surprise. My painting. He revealed that he had exchanged it with a fake one earlier because he expected what his evil manager was going to do. I am only working with her because my dad was indebted to her. I actually wanted to be an athlete, you know? I suddenly felt sorry for him. So listen, I talked to my friend about this escape. He's driving back to the city. Go with him. Thanks, Owen. I owe you one. During the ride, I wondered if we'd see each other again. When I finally reached home, I immediately contacted the buyer and explained everything. Thank God he was still up for it. More and more clients got interested in my work, and soon enough, I started putting up my own website and started earning huge amounts of cash. It had been two weeks, and to be honest, Owen's kiss hadn't left my mind. One night while I was about to sleep, someone snuck in through my window. I was about to scream when I thought it was a burglar, but no, it was him. What are you doing here? I couldn't get you out of my mind, so I looked for you. Ew, stalker. I teased him as he pulled me close and kissed me again. This time I kissed him back and it was amazing. You owe me one, right? Then be my girlfriend. And that was how I ended up dating a celebrity. I was so over the moon, but little did I know that my whirlwind romance was about to turn into the biggest mess ever. Owen told me that we should keep our relationship a secret because his contract stated that he should be single. I agreed to it because I also wanted to earn a name for myself as a painter and not as a celebrity's girlfriend. Tell you what, it wasn't fun. His bodyguards were everywhere, even when he was peeing. Whenever we went outside, people kept shoving cameras in his face. All I wanted was some quality babe time with him. He begged his manager to get rid of bodyguards. Thankfully, she agreed, but only if he followed her rules, and one of them was not to date anyone. Owen found a way for us to hang out without making it look like I was his date. One time, I disguised myself as an old woman, and I literally used a cane while we strolled in a park. His fans were so touched because Owen was so sweet to his grandma. I also disguised myself as a scary witch when we watched a movie. Everyone was screaming and running away when the lights were switched back on, and it was epic! Owen and I had the whole theater to ourselves. He even got mistaken as gay when I disguised myself as a boy. Thankfully, his manager and PR team bought his excuse that I was a cousin and were able to fix it. It went on like that for six months, and it was hard, but exciting. Things became messier when we went on a coffee date with me as a little girl. His fans distracted me with candles and toys so they could have Owen by themselves. Owen and I left the restaurant, but these crazy fangirls were like rabid dogs who kept on chasing us. We ran as fast as we could until we reached the parking lot. While slipping inside Owen's car, a girl caught my wig and pulled it off. I knew it! It's her! The painter girl! She was able to take a picture of me before I closed the door. Oh no. Just 10 seconds later, sweet pictures of Owen and I circulated online. They even figured out we were together most of the time just by studying our Instagram posts. Oh my god, these fangirls were better than FBI agents. Owen's manager immediately called him, and her loud voice could literally break eardrums. She was obviously furious. Owen ended the call and turned to me. Manager said that my fans wanted me to date another actress and not some other girl. They are very angry. So you're going to date her because that's what your fans want? Of course not. I don't want a public relationship stunt with her. That girl's obsessed with me. That was what I thought, until pictures of him and his new girlfriend and the most beautiful girl in the world, Sierra, kissing on a yacht, circulated online. I tried calling Owen, but he wasn't answering me. It went on like that for a week, and I was totally devastated. How could I be with a man who would just treat me as his secret girlfriend and couldn't even fight for me? I got depressed for weeks and chose to focus on my painting career after moving on. One day, a huge client approached me and gave me a chance to display my works at his art gallery event next week. I was so excited. The event finally came and my client introduced me as a rising painter. Everyone was wowed at my paintings. Suddenly, a young girl came up to me and said, Oh my gosh, it's you! The love of Owen's life! What was she talking about? You should watch his interview last night. I didn't want to watch it at first, but my curiosity was killing me. So I opened my phone and became speechless. Sierra and I are not dating, it's just a public stunt. I'm finally quitting showbiz. I'm done with it and my evil manager. I just wanted to be myself and be with the love of my life. Her name is Erica. 
and I just miss her so much. It couldn't be real. Just then, a group of girls outside started screaming. I looked back and saw someone standing at the entrance with a huge bouquet of roses. The person holding it peeked from behind them, and I nearly fainted. It was Owen! What are you doing here? I came to take my painter girl back. I wonder if she's still single. You jerk. As a response, I pulled him close and kissed him with happy tears.